For the past four years, I have been a doctoral student here at NYU, and I've been under the mentorship of Dr. Michelle Munson, and she has helped me to learn a number of research skills, including data collection, um, grant writing, dissemination, and data analysis. And she's also led me in applying for an F31 application through NIH. Um, I've also been teaching in the MSW program for the past two years. I've taught um, practice one and two for first year MSW students. And I believe the combination of both of these experiences will have prepared me well to teach at another university. Broadly, my research interest is focused on the impact of macro level traumas on young adult mental health and functioning. So specifically within my dissertation, I'm looking at how different types of community violence impact young adult PTSD and employment and educational status. So specifically, I'm looking at how um, different types of community violence, for example, witnessing violence or being personally victimized by violence or hearing about violence might be related to different types of PTSD symptoms and also how both of those variables are impacting employment and educational status. I'm also looking at how optimism is, is a moderator of the relationship between, um, between community violence and PTSD to understand the extent to which optimism might be a protective factor in that relationship. My dissertation is a mixed method study, so I'm collecting both quantitative and qualitative data. The qualitative data that I'm collecting is asking young adults to reflect on their overall experiences in the neighborhood, their services they might desire that are related to um, safety in the neighborhood, and how they cope with any negative experiences they have in the neighborhood. So my goal is to really give them more of a voice in the process of this research and compare and contrast the ways that the quantitative and the qualitative data are related to one another. My research, I believe, is innovative in a couple ways. One way is that I'm actually going into the community and talking to young adults and trying to really understand what their experience of violence has been like. And I know from looking at the previous literature that there's very few qualitative studies of this issue. Another way that my research is innovative is that we don't really have a good understanding of how different types of violence exposure are impacting different types of PTSD symptoms. So for example, witnessing violence versus being personally victimized by violence versus hearing about violence, how is that related to different types of PTSD symptoms like flashbacks or hypervigilance? And to the extent that we can understand that relationship better, we can develop more um, targeted interventions that are really focused for young adults who have had these experiences. My research, I think, is very much grounded in social welfare and social justice because the young adults who are most impacted by violence are often young adults of color and young adults of low income who have limited access often to services that um, could help them deal with these experiences. So my goal is to have an assistant tenure track faculty position at a university where I can continue my research focused on the impact of macro level traumas on young adult functioning and mental health.